Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here with another Fallout guide. Now I know I haven't done a few of these recently. It's been a uh, long, um, busy period for me, uh, full of work. And I don't think I've published a video on this, uh, which I started building and then realised that I do not have enough room. If we look at my... Um, there we go. Um, we can see that the size is like full capacity. Um, but we have a lot to talk about. First off, someone has mentioned that if I get rid of these barrels, I will actually um, get rid of all the rats. Something which I did not know. So we're just going to quickly... Wow! Wow! Thank you, whoever uh, it was. So guys, the video today is actually going to be about, as you can probably tell from the title of the video, the... Uh, decontamination archways. One of my uh, viewers w was asked a question about how you could automatically turn these on when you're you're walking through them, and have it on a timer as well. Um, and so we're going to tackle that today. The guy who did post the question has fixed it now. Um, but first of all, once we get our archways, we're going to need to connect them straight to the power. We're doing it for two separate um, archways so that we can do it two different ways. Uh, what you need to do is turn this on. And I think it's not working because that's currently on as well. Yeah. Now the reason we need to turn them both on is so that when we connect the power up it will activate rather than switch itself off. Now there are two ways we're going to do this. The first one we're going to go over to these pressure plates. Now the pressure plates are what we're going to use to turn it on so that as soon as we walk... Oh, they snap. That's nice. Um, it's a shame they're not going to snap the way we want it. There they In an ideal world, it will snap that way. But it's not an ideal world, so we're going to have to make do with that. I'm going to try and move you a little bit closer. Okay, that will do. Now we're going to plug them up, and then we're also going to plug this to the generator. I'm only going to do one. If you want to use both, you do actually need to connect them both to the... Oh, we might as well, for argument's sake. So when we walk on this, it's going to switch on. Only for a split second, but as you walk through it will automatically take off all your um, contaminated uh, waste on you or whatever that's your... I can't think of the word. Uh, if you want to actually have it so that it, it goes on and off whenever you walk in and out of your settlement, which really you don't need to do because you're not going to have contaminated waste in your settlement unless you're very cruel to your people. Uh, you can do exactly the same thing, just the other way around. He says. You see, that's actually a really good position. Mm, come on, work for me, work for me. Okay, we're only going to do it on this one thing. So that when we walk through, yet, ag yet again, it switches on as we go through. Perfect. So for this one, we're going to go a little bit more advanced. We're going to add a laser switch. Now the problem with the laser switch currently, and I'm going to try and figure out a way to fix it, is that you can't reset it once it's been turned on. without doing it manually, which kind of defeats the uh, aim, the point of it. So if I walk through now, this turns on, and that. it's all fine and dandy. Perfect. We reset it, and it goes back to the off. Now in, a <coughs> now in addition, if you want to have it on a time switch so that it goes off after a certain amount of time, all you need to do is add a delayed off switch. This has been connected to the computer and I've set it to, I think, four or two seconds uh, before it switches off. So once we walk through, 
this will go on for a few seconds and then switch off now this is brilliant the only thing that I'm really trying to work out at the moment is how to create a relay switch so I can activate this again uh, without having to manually switch it on or go to the computer to do it now I want to give you a quick look at how you can implement this into your builds so I'm going to quickly jump over to a settlement which I've just been working on and show you what I've done to it. On a separate note, I've noticed that these people are speaking German. I didn't reset my language. Is this actually just in game or has I think one of the mods that I tried activating to activate has actually. Oh, this is terrible aiming. I think. Come on, speak to me. I think one of the mods has changed it to a different language. I mean, fair enough, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But I literally have no idea what they're saying now. Anyway, back to the video. So guys, here we have just a very quick little entrance that I've started building for the... Um, I don't know which place this is actually called. Uh, let's go to our pit boy, War Warwick Homestead. So it's just a little something. I've not actually finished building it yet. Oh, there's lights over there blinking. That's cool. Um, but here we have the entrance. So it's just a little something. Um, so when we walk in here, it actually lights up. So that's just everything. Um, put together. The problem with this is that I can't put these up the wall. Oh, does that? That's interesting. That shouldn't happen. They should all light up, so that's just a matter of connecting them. They should work. They are connectors. Hmm. Oh, that is something for me to think about later. But as you can see, you walk in and it switches on and then switches off after. This is ideal for a settlement, this kind of one, if you want an entrance point. Simply because if you use the late... Okay. There's a little bug going on here, um, which I need to work out. But the simple reason for this being actually very useful is if you have one of these guys who chooses to walk out, he will switch it on and off. If you use a... Hmm. If you use a laser switch, you're going to have to reset it every time until I work out how to put in a relay uh, so that it reactivates itself. Uh, this is going to be the ideal one for your entrance to your underground settlements. Um, so there you go. If you did enjoy this video, if you did find it helpful, um, feel free to drop a like. If you want to know how I built this, um, it's... Why are you... Okay, so... Yeah, that should work. How do we get it to... See, it doesn't do it now. There might have been a way to work out a relay between them. If one's going out, staying on, the other one's not. But we will work out that for a different video. If you guys want to know how I put this together, it's just a very quick thing. Um, I would have liked more lights all the way up so that it all lit red. Um, Feel free to ask, I can do a video on it for you, but it's 
just a matter of light boxes connected to the lights, uh, the pressure plates, which are connected to the generator back here. Might be to do with the lack of power, actually. Thinking about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you guys have any questions or queries, or you want me to tackle a problem that you guys have, feel free to drop me a comment or even a message, and I will try and do the video for you to explain how to work it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.